the Seattle tap water from the Cedar River watershed and one of the most drinkable watersheds on Earth. And I am looking forward to connection and relationship with all of you. This is from rain and snow collected on my uh, back porch um, in Salt Lake City and uh, something we never take for granted in the Great Basin Desert. And uh, I am hoping for perseverance. This is from the Tennessee River, which even as we sit here is straining to carry off the flood. Um, I wish for serenity and an understanding of the limits. I transferred this water into this glass, and it's from a spring on Thousand Lake Mountain in southern Utah. And it comes out of the tap in our little house in Tori, Utah. And I am hoping for the connections that we make to be successfully transferred to the senators and congressmen and congresswomen that we talked to on Thursday. <laughs> and this is from the Ohio River watershed via the Louisville Water Company via the Louisville International Airport. And I'm hoping for an expanded understanding for all of us and for all the people who we uh, encounter during this time. This is from the edge of the Ohio River itself, where the ferry crosses over into Kentucky to get to the airport. And I'm just grateful, particularly from a personal point of view, just to be able to have these days with people who are all on the same page. I've been at this 40 years, and this is really, really, really like dying and going to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and all the rest of the, all the rest of the people that we someday God will really will have in this same place. This is groundwater from under my house and. South Central Wisconsin with a prayer for clarity in the midst of all the buzzing and booming confusion of our lives. This is water from just a few miles away. It was rainwater falling this morning on the green roof at Eastern Village Co-housing where I live on the DC Maryland line. Um, and I'm hoping uh, for clarity of purpose. This is water from the creek near my house, which I think is called Pawnee Creek, but we have so many of them, I'm not sure that that's the name of this particular one. It's from central Nebraska, and I'm hoping for peace and courage. This water and a little bit of seaweed is from Great Diamond Passage in Casco Bay in the Gulf of Maine, and I pray for reconciliation and reason in the halls of Congress. <laughs> This is uh, water from the Salt River that is usually dry, but is uh, flowing amazingly now in Arizona. And uh, my hope is for colleagues and friendship. And I bring the spirit of the Rio Grande, um, and I don't have her water with me, um, who is a, an endangered river, I think the second most endangered in the country, and also uh, a binational river. So I bring a desire for unity with us here, but also with all peoples on the planet who are suffering from climate change, and um, also hope. And just as our river is very um, depleted, we still have hope of the waters continuing to flow within us and through us to connect us. This water is from the Ivy River um, in Marsville, North Carolina. Borders um, our home, and I wish for restraint uh, on humanity's part, and fellowship and surprise and laughter here. This water is from Lake Michigan via the water fountain at O'Hare International Airport. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish for communion with all of you, and through our communion, impact. This water is from Tampa Bay, straight off the Gulf of Mexico, but it has not yet been covered with sweet crude oil. I pray, I intention, I manifest healing and new birth for the planet. This is from Lake Superior. Um, I did a little research about Lake Superior. It's the largest freshwater lake in the world by surface area. 
has 2,900 cubic miles of water. That equals putting a foot of water down on all of North America and all of South America, just to give you a scope of that says. I hope for encouragement and fellowship here. This water is from Potash Brook, which is a small brook that empties into Lake Champlain in northern Vermont. And I pray that the grief that, that we feel and that many people around the world feel at, at the devastation of Mother Earth may be turned into work for justice and peace and harmony with our mother. This water came from our conference last year. Um, it was collected from the, the bowl of everybody's water that came together. And I hope for 